Zanzibar, Zanzibar, Zanzibar is very far. You can't get there in a car. It's too far to Zanzibar. This is a story about homework. Actually, it's a story about Zanzibar. Zanzibar, it's this island off the east coast of Africa. It's part of a country called Tanzania. Actually, it used to be its own country called Zanzibar. I know all about Zanzibar because I learned about it in my sixth grade geography class. And I'm glad I did because now every day somebody comes up to me and asks me where Zanzibar is and what its principal exports are, you know, what they grow and sell to someone else. And I'm glad I know because I can tell them and that's why I'm glad I went to sixth grade. Not only that, but on the same day I learned about Zanzibar, I learned about writing poems and I write songs, you know, and songs are kind of like poems. So I guess if it wasn't for Zanzibar, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> Well, you see, it, it happened like this. I had Mr. Revis for geography. He was my homeroom teacher, too, in sixth grade. World geography, studied the whole world in one year, every country. And uh, we had geography last class of the day when we were kind of sitting around waiting to go home. We'd have geography. That's what we were doing while we were waiting. And uh, one day I was in class, and Mr. Revis said, All right, class, that's enough for today. You can get ready to go home and get your books and... And, and jackets. Oh, but before you go, I, I want to remind you that tomorrow I'm collecting your Zanzibar reports. Remember, this is the African unit, and we were studying Zanzibar. I want everybody to turn a report in on Zanzibar. They were assigned several weeks ago. And not only that, but, but I want to remind you that uh, tomorrow your, your poems are due that you were to write for English, and that's your homework. And I said, Homework? And he said, Yes. I said, I can't, he said. Why not? I said, I'm sorry to tell you, I hope you don't mind, but I just don't really have the time. I got too many things to do. When I go home, I got to go to the store, buy some shoes. I got to clean my room. I got to cut the yard. I got to wash my dog, wash the car. My brother's sick. It just makes me cry if I don't play with him. I think I might die. And last night, I stayed up too late. And tonight, I got to go to bed at 8. And they're working on our house. My room's a mess. There's three tons of bricks sitting on my desk. And besides that, tomorrow morning, my mother leaves for Antarctica for the next 27 years. And this is our last night together. Mr. Revis just said, too bad. What rotten luck. Because the fact was, I hadn't started my poem or my Zanzibar report. I didn't even know what Zanzibar was. Except I figured it was in Africa, because we were studying Africa. <laughs> I was smart like that. I got on the bus, sat there, Zanzibar, Zanzibar, thinking about the dumb report, Zanzibar, Zanzibar. I said it over and over, it just kind of became a song. It went like this. Zanzibar, Zanzibar, Zanzibar is very far. You can't get there in a car. It's too far to Zanzibar. I kind of like that. I liked it up so much, I, I, I made up some more. I didn't know if it was true about Zanzibar, but it kind of fit in with the song. It, it went like this. Zanzibar, they don't have tar to put on roads to drive their cars. Men and women smoke cigars. There's no tar in Zanzibar, Zanzibar, Zanzibar. So I sang that. I was singing it louder and louder. The kid on the bus next to me on the seat, he just got up and moved away for some reason. But I didn't care. I got off the bus, walked home, and then I said to myself, Hey, Bill? Yeah, I said. You know what? What? You know what you're going to do? Uh-uh. You're going to go home, and you're going to do your homework right away. So you can go outside and play. You can watch television tonight. It'll be great. I said, really? I said, yeah. Good idea. <laughs> so I went home to do my homework right away. Except first I had to have a snack, because you got to have a snack when you get home. So I made peanut butter skyscrapers. I made them myself. I invented it. You could make them if you want. You take a saltine cracker and then and some peanut butter and another saltine cracker and some peanut butter and another saltine cracker and some peanut butter and crackers and peanut butter. And then your mother comes in and says, don't make that. That's a big mess. And you throw them away. It's great. So I did that. And I had a big snack. I ate it all that time. And I got up headed to my room to do my homework, my report on Zanzibar. But the phone rang just then. I went to pick it up. It was my friend Paul. Paul lived down the street. He said, hey, Bill, how you doing? I said, fine, Paul. He said, listen, I just got this new baseball game. It's got all these cards and dice, and I need somebody to help me figure out how to play it. Come on down. 
I said, gee, Paul, I'm real sorry, but I, I got homework. He said, come on, Bill. Come on, I really need you. All right, I said anything for a friend. Hung up the phone, picked up my jacket, put it on, headed out the door. I was just going to go down to Paul's for a little bit. Got there, and we got the game out. And it took us a while to figure out how to play it, and then we started playing it. It was real complicated, and we were playing and playing when all of a sudden Paul's mother said, oh, Bill, it's time to go home for dinner. What? She said, it's dinner time. Oops. <laughs> I forgot all about my homework. That's all right, I said. I'm going to go home. I'll have dinner, then I'll do it right after dinner. I'll start right after dinner. So I went home, sat down at the table with my family, and we ate dinner. Then I got up from dinner. I put the dish in the sink, and I was headed to my room, and my brother said, Hey, Bill, Bill. Yeah? One quick game of ping pong in the basement. Come on. All right, just one game. Went down to the basement, played a game of ping pong, and I lost. So I had to play another one. And I won that one, so I had to play another one. And then there we were in the middle of the third game. It was hot and heavy when all of a sudden my father called down the basement steps. Don't you boys have any homework? I know you're down there. Do I have to come down? No, I said I'm coming. Came back up the stairs to do my stupid report on Zanzibar, Zanzibar. Got to my room, got out a piece of paper, got out a pencil, but it was kind of dull, you know, so I went to the pencil sharpener in the kitchen to sharpen it, but by the time it was sharp, it was too short. So I went to my dad's desk. I opened up his drawer. I started looking at there all this neat stuff, erasers and pictures and rulers, and I was looking through it all, and my dad came in and he said, What are you doing? I said, oh, hi, Dad. I, I'm looking for a pencil. He said, there's one right there, right in front of your face. <laughs> I picked up the pencil, went back to the pencil sharpener, but it was full, so I had to empty it. And finally, I got my pencil sharp, and I went back to my room, and I sat down at my desk, and I looked up. <sighs> and there, right in front of me on my desk, was my aquarium. It had this greenish-black sludge growing on the sides. I'd just been kind of dumping fish food in there lately. I hadn't looked. And when I looked over the side into the top, <clears throat> there was a dead guppy floating on the top. I said, this water's polluted. I'd better do something about it. I picked up the aquarium. I took it into the bathroom, flushed the dead fish and dirty water down the toilet, Got some Windex, cleaned out the inside of the aquarium, did a real good job on it. I said, boy, I'm glad I did this. I should have done this a long time ago. And then I remembered. Zanzibar, Zanzibar. Oh, brother, my Zanzibar report. I went back to my room, sat down at my desk, got out a clean piece of paper again. Reached back on my bed for my book. It wasn't there. My geography book, it wasn't there. Oops, must have left it at school. Well, that's all right, because in my house we had the World Book Encyclopedia. I knew they'd have something about Zanzibar in there, so I walked into the living room, walked over to the World Book, looked all the way down past the big fat C and the big fat S, got all the way down there to the end looking for the Z, and there it was, in one volume, with three other letters, W, X, Y, Z. I could understand that. Anyway, I picked up the book, headed back to my room. I stopped at my brother's room to see what he was doing, but he was doing his homework. <laughs> what a stupid thing to do. Sat down at my desk, leafed through the WXYZ until I came to the part on Zanzibar. And there was only one paragraph. Well, actually, there should have been more, but when my brother was little, he'd ripped out the next page because there was a picture of the zebra on the back that he liked. And now there was only one paragraph about Zanzibar said what their principal exports were. <laughs> Cloves. I didn't know what a clove was. Ground nuts and sugar cane. And that's all there was on Zanzibar. <laughs> that wasn't enough to write a report. I mean, Mr. Revis loved principal exports. I think it was his favorite thing in the whole world, but it wasn't enough for a report. I sat on my bed. I said, what am I going to do? Thinking about cloves and ground nut and sugar cane and cloves and ground nuts and sugar cane and Zanzibar and Zanzibar and cloves and ground nuts. It just kind of 
went into the song, all of a sudden it went, in Zanzibar they grow clothes, what they're for, I don't know, maybe they put them between their toes, in Zanzibar they grow clothes, in Zanzibar they grow ground nuts, people who grow them live in huts, in Zanzibar there's sugar cane, to grow it they need lots of rain, Zanz stop it, I said, you can't sing this, you gotta do your homework, and I was in a fix, I couldn't do my report on Zanzibar because there wasn't enough. I get, I, get, I get a piece of paper, I go sharpen my pencil and, and write the poem I was supposed to write for English. So I did all that and sat down and tried to think what I was going to write about. But the only thing I could think was Zanzibar, Zanzibar, Zan... No, 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 I can't do that. I lay down on my bed, closed my eyes and said, What am I going to think about? What am I going to write a poem about? Zanzibar, Zanzibar, Zanzibar... <laughs> The next thing I knew, my mother was waking me up. She was shaking me by my shoulder. She said, Bill, get up. You got, you got you to gotta go to bed. It's midnight. Midnight, Mom? I said, I haven't done my homework. She said, well, it's just too late for that. You'll have to do it in the morning. I don't know about you, but when my mom told me it was too late to do homework, it was too late to do homework. So I put my pajamas on, brushed my teeth, got into bed thinking, okay, okay, I'm going to get up real early tomorrow morning and do my homework. Except I didn't. I got up real late. Had to wait for the bathroom. Had two bowls of Cheerios. Spilt the box on the floor looking for thing in the bottom. Had to clean them all up. Barely made it to the bus. Sat on the bus. I got out a piece of paper and pencil. Said, I'm going to write a poem. I'm going to write a poem. What the only thing I could think was... Zanzibar, Zanzibar, Zanzibar is very far. I got into school. There was ten minutes before school was going to start. I had to do something. I got out of paper and pencil. I was going to write this poem at least. <laughs>